Hi, I'm Sky for T.TV and I'm honoured to be surrounded by an outstanding group of women here today. We're at the WIFTS Visionary Awards. The WIFTS stands for Women's International Film and Television Showcase. The annual event is happening here in Toronto at the TIFF Bell Light Box. It's all about recognizing and celebrating women who have empowered and motivated through their careers and through film and television. So now let's talk with these amazing ladies and enjoy the show. Certainly, she's one of the biggest TV personalities in Canada, an incredible businesswoman, and uh, there's lots you may not know about her. I'm talking about Debbie Travis. She'll join us in just a second. But first, here's Debbie's bio. You know, if there's such a thing as a decorating guru, Debbie Travis could be called it. She is literally a household name. Home decor is a huge business, and Debbie is a big participator in that. You know all those decorating shows you see on television? Well, 15 years ago, Debbie created one of the first called Painted House. Today, we'll come to the fireman's rescue. Painted House, you recall, ran for 13 seasons and helped the spark an explosion of those shows. I am standing here with one of our Canadian icons, Debbie Travis, who has been honored as the television with the Television Pioneer Award. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. You've done so many great things for us here in Canada. You've taught us how to build homes from the ground up and, and how to make over homes and, and paint. And you've really made a difference for a lot of women in Canada. So uh, it's a pleasure to be standing with you here today. And uh, how did you first hear about the WIFTS? Um. Well, I actually know Elspeth. I've known Elspeth since, I don't know, 25 years. I met her in Cannes at the film festival. But I think what, what people don't understand is that people maybe on television know me as a painter and decorator. But I actually, what we do is I'm a television producer. I'm from the BBC originally. And I raised the bar when I came to Canada um, in cable television in America and Canada. How do you feel about the fact that your granddaughter has been nominated as the honoree for the IT Award? I told you how I feel about my granddaughter. We'd be here for three hours. <laughs> my company produces my shows, but we also produce an enormous amount of the television shows that you watch on the Food Network, HGTV, Slice, and then the American Network. So, we're a large production company, and that's what I'm proud of. So I think the Pioneer Award was given to me, not because I destroyed Canadian homes and <laughs> told people to get a sponge out, but it's because we, we made better television and we raised that bar so that now, now those networks, really, the shows that they're producing are sold all over the world. And Canada is, we are now producing shows directly for the United States. Um, with those cable networks here. And I think that's, Canada's come a long way in specialty television. I'm delighted, I'm thrilled, and, it's, and I expected that. I really expected her to do well. Because us, do t tell everybody who trained you. My grandmother trained me. And are there any uh, other individuals uh, among us today that you're looking forward to maybe chatting with that you may or may not have met before? Um, I'm dying to uh, chat with Debbie Travis, who I think is a Canadian icon. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that Arlene Dickinson, whom, whom I know, who is getting an award today but who cannot make it, who is really, I mean, what an outstanding uh, example of Canadian women entrepreneurship, uh, and many others. Um, it, it's going to be an amazing afternoon. Well, I'm so honoured to be here. Well, we're so honored to, to speak with you and, and have this moment with you, so we'll let you uh, get to the party and mix and mingle before the award show starts. Thank you so much. 